not this uh, <coughs> present uh, railway minister, the previous Swedish Prabhu. I have written him at least two, three letters only on the work culture of the railways, how it is deteriorating badly. You write a letter, there is not even a response. Important things you write. Nobody acknowledges it, but this is a very bad work culture. On the other hand, you write a letter to Delhi Metro, you find immediate response to that. That's a same railway man working in Delhi, Delhi Metro, why are they having a different work culture? Same people, same fine art, same stores department people, same railway people doing transportation. The work culture is so different. We must bring in a different work culture. I am other feeling. I returned to three times. And I even volunteered that when you call meeting with the general managers, I am come, I'm prepared to come and talk to them. We need for proper work culture. Similarly, heads of departments, when they call you, when the MD calls a meeting of all the chief agents, I would like to go and talk to them. This is what the way they should do. And most important thing is the attitude. Attitude. I have seen many examples after leaving the railway. Now I am working on the on the other side of the fence, in the metro. You want a permission to get a road over bridge constructed in India by another country. Do you know it takes 18 months, 24 months to get permission from the railways today? About two years back. I think about three years back. I had an opportunity to go to Hyderabad and be a metro man. They called me to see the metros. I went to and the metro because I had a particular <coughs> fondness for the Hyderabad metro because I only started the whole scheme. I prepared the, the <coughs> project report. I got the, the thing cleared by the government. So I had a fondness for the Hyderabad metro. I wanted to see how things were going on. The project manager there, Hyderabad Metro is being done by LNT as a BOT project with their own money. That project manager told me that he was stuck up at 12 locations. He was not able to do the work because the railway will not give permission to fly over the railway track. For 12 locations. And I said, have you returned to the railways? Yes. Have you met the chief engineer? Yes. Have you met the general manager? Yes. But no permission was coming. Next day I happened to be in Delhi. And I went to member engineering chain. When Mr. Gupta was member engineer at that time, I told him this is what is happening. In my presence, he called the chief engineer. He said, why the permission is being had? He gave him instruction in 24 hours, these permission should be given for all the road overages, all the flyovers of the metro. It was done. If this was pending for the last for two, two and a half years, how it could be done in 24 hours afterwards? This is the type of, you know, I said, the societal responsibility. They are waiting for some excuse or other and now giving permission. A recent instance of mine <coughs> in Hermagodam where I'm in charge of the Ahmadullah Metro Constructions. There is a flyover, the Metro flies over Ahmadullah Junction Yard, very huge yard. And currently, because of there's no space in between the tracks and it's a rectified section, we decided to take one single span, 110 meter span, crossing the whole yard by itself, without touching anything, without affecting the railways working. And, we, and it was on a curve also. So we went for what is known as um, a, something like a high wide right? continuous girder, precess concrete girder. You know, to get permission from the railways to take up that work took us one year. The railway was not doing any work at all. The entire work was being done by the railways. Then the design was by the railway. On some issues or other, all the people on the metro side were all railway people on deputation. But 
the budget in here and the chief engineer will not give permission for this. One year we lost. You know, this sort of cover work culture is not correct on the railroads. Ultimately, they have to go to the GM, myself, and because of the, my personal reputation, the permission was given. Permission was given, all right. But then all sorts of impediments have been brought in to take up the work. They won't be the land, railway land to occupy. Unless you occupy the railway land, you have to keep the contractors, cranes, and other things. They won't give that. And also, uh, uh, remuneration, not remuneration, they want so many other compensation to be given. A house is being demolished, they want a new house to be constructed somewhere. Then only this will be allowed to be demolished. Now, this sort of attitude is not correct. We are all working for the nation. The metro is also working for the nation, railway also is working for them. What is the harm? After two government departments, why this attitude? That is what I'm saying, the work culture is so bad. Yeah. Now please don't, these things, please keep in mind. If somebody, some other department also doing the work, if they want some assistance, give all this assistance out to the way, if required. And nobody is going to blame you for giving this assistance. Ultimately, in any case, you are going to give, why delay? In a project, time is money. Even a day you waste, then so much of extra cost occurs in the project. 